Hey everyone, this is my walkthrough on Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. We are in episode 1, Tide of Terror. And uh, we're going to do uh, the last level here in the first part of the hub, which is a Cunning Disguise. Um, yeah, this level is actually pretty cool. Uh, two balls right there from the right from the get-go. Uh, there are going to be some things I do point out. Um, <laughs> and there is some things in this level that I do find weird. And, ooh, extra life! Hooray! And, oh. This red's got pegged. Raleigh appears to have booby trapped this entire place. Yeah, so those rugs, if you ever see those rugs don't with the globe on them, you don't you step, step on them rug, because you're gonna get hurt. Unless you have something. <laughs> coins! Coins! But we're not gonna be able to get them. What if I jumped into that barrel for protection? I don't know. It looks pretty risky. And very unsanitary. Only one way to find out. I've heard of monkey than a barrel, but I've never heard of raccoon than a barrel. That sounds like a fun game. Raccoons in a barrel. Followed by hangman and trades. What's in trades and hangman? Those games don't go in that order. So yeah, basically you can walk around and see you're not going to get hurt. You can even stand still. And the barrel is actually really good use. So this is maybe the in, uh, first introduction we have in a Sly Cooper game of uh, disguises. And it's a very intro early introduction. And this disguise is actually really good because in it you can't actually get... Um, um, you can't get spotted by flashlight guards if you stand still. So that's important to know. Yeah, and the cool thing about this game is that um, if you, um, yeah, the good thing about flashlight guards is that if you are, um, is that they don't have very good visibility, so as long as you're not in their flashlight, they can't see you. That's a good thing about them. Alright, so we're just gonna move right around here. Oh god! That was really close. Oh my god. That was really close. There you go. So yeah, if you can do get close enough, they will eventually see you on the live. Woo! Extra life! Wow! Okay. Wow, this first... Yeah, this first episode is actually really generous with giving you extra lives. So by now, you should have at least 15. I have 20 because, of course, I'm taking advantage of the spawning of extra lives at the hub. It's always a good thing. I think you can have up to a total of 99 extra lives. That would be pretty awesome if I was able to finish off this walkthrough with 99 extra lives. I want to see if I can go for that. Oh wait, there we go. I know someone you're not going to be able to move forward unless you go up and around. Oh wait, let's try to matrix hit this guy. Take it in the face. Like your mom. Oh, first mom joke in the game. No one this walkthrough, whatever. Uh... This is still one of my favorite games of all time. Alright, so anyways, uh, we have to be careful with these. And I'm gonna point out something to my friend here. Um, yeah, hold on. See? Even if you're in the barrel, you can still get burned. Dumbass. And thanks to you, I wasted a horseshoe on that because I had to show him. He's like, no, nah, if you're in the barrel, you can get burned. And I'm like, um, wood is not greater than fire. Wood gets burned by fire. In fact, haven't you ever heard of firewood? But yeah, but after uh, the barrel gets burned, you get this weird cosmetic change where it becomes charred. But apparently it does not catch on fire. Ah, Sly Cooper logic. Uh, destroy these globes. I always destroy these globes anyways. Because, you know, you never know. Uh, I had a friend actually who didn't destroy the globes and he accidentally fell from the second level. And he landed right on the rug and he didn't have the barrel with him, so he got pegged really easily. That was a mistake on his part. Of course, one time because I was uh, trying to do the Master Thief challenge, um, like I think on like the last one of these rugs, I just ro did like the roll move across and I didn't get shot because they didn't have enough time to hit me. Ah, crap. Right there. This should be good. There we go. Uh, uh, oh, oh, okay, here we go. Oh. Yeah, pretty much you just have to jump near the barrel to go into it. That's all you have to basically do. 
Uh, there's a safe, but um, we don't have enough balls yet. We're missing eight. So uh, we're gonna have to come back for that in a second. Uh, damn it, get, there we go. All right, hold on. I wanna try to see if I can get a lot of, uh... yeah, there we go. Actually, if I can get a lot of these coins in here, cause you know, there's one area where most people miss the coins in. The barrel will return in later episodes, but uh, this is the just the introduction of where you go. That is almost pretty cool. Nice giant library too. I doubt Raleigh is smart enough to actually. Oh, of course he's. Of course he's smart enough. He's a mechanic. He must need to learn how to. Read. But seriously, there are a lot of books on here. And plus, if you're on a boat, don't you think that these would probably be subjected to rot? All right, mystery time. Mystery safe. Like Zoink Sly. I can't believe I just said that. I right, hear some three bot. Oh, you gotta be, you gotta be kidding me. Let's try that again. Don't fall this time, Sly. There we go. That was a little embarrassing. All right, hold on. And there we go, we're safe now. Yeah, we have them all, but uh, before we go and get back that safe, uh, let's just des uh, destroy these. Because uh, I'm, you know, thorough like that. Oh, what the hell? There we go. Ah, and we got ourselves another gold horseshoe, so I was able to get this that one by the end. Ah, and here we go. Alright, that's perfect. <laughs> Interesting. Chris Cooper's dive collection. Ah, uh, this is just an add-on to the uh, dive mood that we have. Uh, it just helps you collect things faster. I don't think there's anyone else in the show. So I'm just gonna cut ahead to so when we um go back to the treasure key. Oh, here we go. There we go. Okay, I got it. Woo! And that's it for Sly Cooper, the Thieves Rock Phoenix for now. We got all the levels done in the first part of the hub, so I guess I'll see you guys next time when we go to the second part of the hub. See you then.